Hey YouTube, Tom here from Video Gamers Soapbox to talk about the PS4 and Xbox One. First, let me start this video off by saying Happy Thanksgiving to everyone who's watching, and if you're an Armed Forces member, thank you for the service to our country and for the sacrifices you make to keep this country safe. But onto the video at hand, which is the PS4 or Xbox One. Which one should you buy? In my opinion, neither right now. Now, most of you are going to get upset at this and say, oh, well, you know, what the hell, it's a great system, all that fun stuff. Now, you're, you're right, they are both great systems, but listen to my logic for this. The Xbox One and PS4 just released. They both have flaws, they both have problems. The only reason people are going out and buying them right now is because of the fact they want to be the first ones to play the games, first ones to do the reviews and all that. Well that's fine. I'm not going to say don't go buy it. If you have the money to spare, go ahead and do it. But for most of us people, we don't have that kind of money. So what I'm going to say is hold off. Wait until the end of December. They're going to start releasing bundle deals. I guarantee you they will release bundle deals. Their, a bundle deal is just going to be them releasing the system with a bunch of games and all this, uh, all the other accessories, which they've already pr done with the PS4 and the Xbox One, but the deals are going to get better. And if you wait, put some more research into it, find out which system you prefer, because when it comes down to that, both systems are the exact same. The only difference has to do with the user interface, which in my opinion, the Xbox One doesn't have the best of interfaces. It does if you want a home theater system, because you can access Skype, you can access the internet, you can do this, that, and the other, which is nice, it really is, except for the fact that you have to deal with ads, you have to deal with, I mean, all sorts of different things. I don't like the Xbox One. I made the mistake of buying an Xbox 360 instead of PS3, stuck with it for years, and then I finally got to play a PS3 for the first time when I was visiting Texas a long time ago, and it was beautiful. It was I, I couldn't believe that I would bought an Xbox 360 and wasted as much money as I did, because I was paying every month to play games that I already paid for, and the services were no different than on the PS3. And it just, I mean, it, it, it bummed me out. But it's because I didn't do the research. Hold on, hold your money, and just simply wait. Again, the bundles will come. Not only that, you'll be more prepared and more able to figure out which system you want. Not which system your friend has, which system's popular. No, find the system you want. Because when it comes down to it, it comes down to what the monthly charges are. For example, the PS4 is $10 a month. Not only that, you can use it without having to pay the monthly fee. The only reason you're paying the monthly fee of $10 is if you want to play your games online. But the difference is between Xbox Live and the PS4 is with the PSN Plus, it will allow you to get free games, which is a huge bonus in today's economy. Not only that, you can still use your PS4 offline, you can still watch Netflix, browse the internet, do Skype, all that fun stuff. All the PSN Plus does is allow you to use your multiplayer games online. Again, for the sake of your money and for the sake of both companies, that, which both are great companies and both want honest reviews of their systems, Choose the system that's right for you. Find the interface that you enjoy. Save your money. Do some research. I'm going to throw some links or some links down in the description of this video, which will lead you to the specs and different videos and websites of how to research for your ideal system, which will be the best bang for your buck. Again, wait until the end, near the end of December. They'll come out with the bundle deals. So. And as always, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to get more of my opinions, subscribe to my channel. I know I'm a pretty irritating guy at times since I'm still getting used to YouTube. But thank you all for bearing with me. If you reached the end of this video, again, thank you a lot. I apologize about how scruffy I look. Uh, it's almost the end of November, and at that point I'm going to shave. So, nonetheless, this is Tom signing off. Talk to you guys later. Bye.